Hello internet friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey and a YouTube journey. And recently I tried to do a live stream where I watched some of Jubilee's latest video called Is Being Fat a Choice? Fit Men versus Fat Men. I caught wind of this video thanks to August the Duck and I decided to stream some of their video while making commentary on it. I got copyright during it and decided to delete the video just so I don't have to worry about the same things that Abba and Preach recently had to with Jubilee. My video was 40 minutes long. I had watched 14 minutes of theirs. So I do think that there was some transformative information going on, but that is okay. I had only planned on watching 20 minutes of their video and it's like an hour of it. So I also was doing a crap job. I know I was doing a crap job. So it is fine that, that it needed to be deleted. <laughs> the issue that I have though, and the reason why I'm making another video is because they decided to bring on a man with a very small EQ. They made sure not to include women in on this conversation. And I do believe it is because the draw to this video is Myron from Fit and Fresh. So if you are not as tuned into YouTube drama as I am, here's the lowdown. Jubilee has been copyright striking people left and right for adding commentary to their videos. They then went on to bring someone who is toxic as hell, made sure not to include any women in on the discussion. And I do believe it is because he was part of the panel. The things that he said was atrocious and there was no moderation, making sure that it was kept civil. The biggest man on the fit side was the one with the highest EQ and is honestly the hero of the whole video. So I believe that they brought on Myron to get people to stop talking about their recent copyright strikes all over the place and focus it over to, hey, look at this jerk. However, they're still not allowing any commentary on it and commentary channels are what made their channel so big, I do believe. So if they are wanting to make people change the narrative from them striking people for commenting on their videos, by adding someone who should not be given an extra platform to speak on, that is their prerogative. But if they're going to continue to copyright strike anyone who does make videos on this, it seems a bit hypocritical. Should we talk about this? Should we not? Do you want us to watch? Do you want us to comment? Who knows? So this is going to be a very short video, just saying, hey, there's a reason why I don't have a found on the internet Friday up. Make you guys aware that Jubilee is still copywriting people and now giving a platform to disgusting human beings where they don't make sure to moderate what they're saying. It is supposed to be a discussion. However, I don't see how it can be a fair open discussion where they talk about women and their feelings and put them in a box without any woman being on that panel. It's gross. I do suggest that you guys check out August the Duck's video. He's very good at explaining what is wrong with this. And I don't believe he will be copyright struck because he is a larger creator and they are being careful with that. Thanks to Abba and Preach. That being said, I'll see you guys Monday. Bye.